Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. We're going to talk about process work here and deciding what club to use when, appro when approaching different kinds of chips. So this video is great for players who tend to just guess at things, who don't really have a clear game plan on approaching a green side chip like this. So hopefully this will add some clarity to your pre-shot routine and decision making and hopefully make you guys commit to your shot a little bit better and increase the likelihood of you executing the shot. So um, you can see it from this down the line view, there's, there's two holes on the same line. So I have my three wedges with me, my 58, my 54, my 50, and we're gonna see and we'll hopefully illustrate how the different kinds of club landing on the same spot will alter the shot. So we're gonna go to this first one first. Um, I tend to like to carry this uh, uh, ball roughly two to three yards onto the green and have it run out the rest of the way. Um, so from here, let's just kind of pace it out. So I got one, two, three, four, Four, so I got four yards of carry. I'm gonna add another two yards, one, two. So this is roughly my landing spot here, six yards from where the ball is. From here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six yards of carry, six yards of roll. I'm gonna use my 58 degree here, which I typically tend to use for most of my shots. Um, and hopefully we'll see what we can do with six yards carry, six yards roll. So I have range balls here. It's gonna spin a little bit less, it's gonna run a little bit more, um, but we'll see how this goes. So here at Cedar Bray, the putting green is sloped downwards away from us. So the ball coming out a little softer is a premium. So 58 degree I like. I'm gonna approach this chip relatively normal stock shot. So I don't have to play it too high. I'm gonna play a normal stock shot, play at six yards carry, six yards roll, and we'll see what happens. So I've landed that one yard short of my carry, uh, but I've hit that ball literally pin high tap in six inches, which is great. So when I say two yards on the green, I don't expect anyone to always hit that two yards ball every single time. But by having the two yard window, you, you guarantee, well not guarantee, but you increase the likelihood of this ball carrying on the green so it never gets caught up in the rough or on a non-green surface. I always want this ball landing on the same surface the putting that the green is on or the hole is on so that the first bounce is very predictable. So I'm gonna try one more for you guys. I'm gonna try again, six yards carry, six yards roll. See what I can do here. I've hit that Again, same thing, a yard and a half on, and I'm roughly a yard past where I hit that previous ball. So I got roughly three, four feet uphill, pretty easy putt. So if I try to approach the shot, let's say with my 50 degree, um, let's make this a little bit more extreme. If I have a 50 degree wedge here, it's gonna be pretty hard to carry the six yards and have it roll out in six yards and nothing more. So I'm gonna try here my 50 degree. I'm gonna play a 50 degree stock shot. I've landed at three yards, two and a half, three yards past, and you can see that ball going bye-bye. Um, that ball is, I would say, from here 20 feet past, maybe 25 feet past the pin. Um, just very little chance of this ball landing at my, finishing at my hole. I've hit that one yard short of my target. So I landed that one yard onto the green and that ball is still going bye-bye. Even though I tried to hit this ball a little bit, um, hit the ground first a little bit more just to ensure I have less speed coming out. So if I do a normal stock shot with stock contact where I'm not trying to hit the ground um, too far before it, and you can see that's two and a half yards past my past the green and that ball is just going bye-bye, actually pin high to that second hole. So that illustrates really how the different shot, uh, different club you use can change how the outcome is based on the same landing spot. So I'll do one more for you guys. I'm gonna play a stock shot here with my 50 normal contact where I'm not altering how far behind the ball I'm hitting. I'm gonna try to hit the same spot two yards on, I've hit two yards on there, and the ball is running out perfectly pin high. I have three feet to make that putt. So 
that was pretty good. And you can see the difference by hitting the same spot with my 50 and my 50 with same kind of pretty decent, uh, pretty consistent contact can alter how far this uh, result plays out. So just to let you guys know, I have six and six, so I have 12 yards to this first pin. To the second pin I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I got 21 yards to that second pin. So roughly uh, 9, 10 yards more than the first pin. So you can see by landing this uh, same spot with two different clubs has that big of a variance in total distance. So hopefully that helps you guys add some clarity to your decision making. Um, Again, I like making sure you're really good with one wedge. So for me, I, I feel like I'm better with my 58 than everything else. Um, so I could, if I w really wanted to, try to use my 58 degree and just make sure the ball runs out a little bit more. So what I do in that scenario is I put the ball a little bit further back in my stance so that it comes out a little bit lower and runs out a little bit more. So I've hit that two and a half yard window but that ball's not gonna run out the same as that 50 still. I got roughly four feet downhill to work with, which isn't as good as putting on the same level. So I'll try one more for you guys. My 58 degree, I put it back in my stance to try to run out a little bit more. That one I just chunked completely, so no big deal. So you can really see this shot here is not intended for the 58 degree. That one I landed pretty much two yards short of the first pin and that carried and that rolled at roughly pin high. So you can see 58 is pretty much not ideal here. So um, try this out, hope this adds some clarity to your decision making. Um, any questions, leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.